Okay, this isn't going to be like a cinematographic masterpiece or anything. Uh, I have before me a coal steel, okay? These machines are notorious for their escapement problems, uh, if you know anything about typewriters. And I had one in the past, but that also didn't work. Um, and I wanted one again, so I got one, and uh, it also didn't work. <laughs> the escapement just would not play ball. But I tell you what, the fix is, is pretty easy. Um, or at least it's easy to understand. Like, once you get the plating out of the way and everything, it's so easy to see what the problem is. Uh, and the real way to do it is there's two adjustment screws that kind of offset. Well, here, I'll get in close and you can see. Okay. Can, let's see. Can you see? I know it's probably going to be hard to see this little guy here okay what was happening before was that he was sliding over a little too far like when the carriage came to a stop this guy was over the guy underneath there's a little guy you can see here see he moves down moves aside I should say when I press the space bar and that guy moves down to engage with the tooth so the little guy on the bottom there that moves to the side is holding it when it's in its natural state um, but when it's out of whack, that top guy, instead of going down and engaging with the tooth, going in between the teeth, I mean, he hits the top of one of the teeth. So he's slightly out of line. So what you got to do is um, there's two, there's like a, it li oh, you can see it right there. Okay. Um, there's a screw right here that you need to get to. However, there's this in the way, and it's just impossible to screw in there, uh, get a screwdriver in there, and it's got a locking not on each side uh so since i'm a real lazy bastard <laughs> i took a bit of pop can and made my own washer and uh just kind of squashed it in there and uh well i mean it works you can't really <laughs> argue with it can you uh because i gotta work in coal steel <laughs> that's pretty fucking cool so uh yeah if you got a coal steel oop, let me adjust this if you got a coal steel uh, that's my advice. Go ahead and shove a bit of pop can in there, or, you know, better yet, do it right. Take it apart and, uh, actually <laughs> adjust the, uh, adjust the escapement as you should. Uh, you know, you don't have to hillbilly it like I did, but, you know, hey, it works. I got a working cold steel. So, uh, so yeah, so there's that.